In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to look at the most efficient way to take a DSLR photograph, which is a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, and bring it into a production that is 16 by 9 and adjust each photograph so it fills the screen. This comes as a result of a query from one of my subscribers who said, what's the best way to do this? What they were doing is taking an initial photograph and magnifying it by 1.185 using the PIP designer, then copying all the keyframes of that particular photograph onto others and adjusting each one by cropping them individually. Let me show you a much more efficient way you can do this. I'm going to take one of these seven pictures that I took of flowers and drag it to track number one. And if I double click on it, I can get into my PIP designer. I don't even need to do that. I'm going to click on the crop tool in the toolbar above the timeline. That will open up my crop option. Now my project default is 16 by nine. That's the second button that's checked. The default size of my photograph is 3456 by 2304. Now it gives me a crop size of 3456, so it preserves the width, but it automatically says the height can only be 1944 to fit the screen. And so it creates for me this white rectangle with bounding boxes. The easiest way to modify it is simply decide I like the width, I'm only going to go up and down on the height. That will preserve as much of the picture as possible. So I can take my left mouse button and drag inside the white rectangle and then click on OK. When I do that, two things happen. It creates a copy of that image and it stores it on my hard drive, puts it in my media room. Notice it has a zero behind it, which is normal for the first time around in a project. And then it puts a modified copy. It leaves that on my timeline. Let's take another one to show you how easy that is. I'll drag this down, click on my crop tool, and then I might want this all the way down. That's the best part of the picture and click on OK. So all I need to do is drag, place, crop, move up or down and click on OK. It's a very simple process that you can use multiple pictures with very little time invested in each one and get one each one the way you want it to be for your final project. And so when I play each of these, we'll find they're only two seconds long, but they move from one to the other and each one totally fills the screen like it was originally shot in a 16 by 9 ratio. No one would know the difference. So this is a very simple way to take those very common shots that you have from DSLR or any 3 by 2 photography and convert them to 16 by 9 for use in a project in CyberLink PowerDirector.